good day to you. I hope you are good. I hope you are starting your day. And if your day is not on a not so good start, hopefully something I say makes your day a little brighter. <laughs> so it is a beautiful day. Um, was able to dive into the word this morning. I am so full because that word was good. It was for me. And I did something different. I actually prayed before I got into the word. Typically what I do is I like to just get into the word, pray after. But it was very fulfilling to pray beforehand and then get an awesome revelation from the scripture. So today I am, well... Um, the goal is to meditate on the uh, beginning books. So I am in Genesis. Um, I'm also studying the book of Yahusha, which is Joshua. Um, but right now, again, today I was diving in and I'm in the book of Genesis and I'm reading chapter one, reflecting on verses 26 through 28 and the first part is how Elohim created mankind. And it says he created us in his image. And when I read that, I was like, wait, so I am a physical representation of Elohim here in the earth. And to think that I am not just one, but there are million, there are many people in this earth. And to know that each person was created in some form of the Father's image, that's amazing. So today I was encouraged to just walk in that, you know, I am created in the image of my Heavenly Father. And then as it continues, the Father blesses us. So after he created us, he then blessed us because he was like, my work is good. And I'm like, I am blessed. And I'm not blessed because of anything I did. I'm I'm blessed because the Father created me. <laughs> he saw I was good. He saw me. And to continue, <clears throat> it was then we move into be fruitful. And when I looked up the definition of being fruitful, um, the words productive and profitable stood out to me and I'm on this journey of becoming a valuable woman a valuable woman to my husband a valuable woman to my child as a mother a valuable woman in general and to know that the word fruitful means being productive and profitable my prayer is that I become a productive and profitable woman you know, that I can, you know, be fruitful where I am. <laughs> and then after it says be fruitful, it encourages us to multiply in the earth. And I like how being fruitful came before multiplying. So it's like when you become fruitful, I want you to make many people that are like you. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, fruitfulness. <laughs> and then we continue and it goes into the verse where it talks about replenish the earth and subdue it. And when I looked up the word replenish, it means to pretty much bring back to life. So we are told to go out in this earth and bring it back to life. Why? Because it's jacked up. It's messed up. There's a lot of things happening. There's a lot of darkness. And we need to go out there and bring that light back. Because we are the physical representations of Elohim in the earth. And then it continues, subdue it. And when I looked up subdue, it means take control of. And um, in my morning little journal, quick write, I was like, I can remember a time where it felt like life was getting the best of me. So I was being subdued by the earth. 
And it's like, no, you are the one that's supposed to be subduing earth. You are in the earth, but you are not of it. So you're not supposed to allow this world to control you. So I was really encouraged to just take back my control and understand that I was placed in this earth to move and to have power. So I need to walk in that. Um, and then last but not least, have dominion in the earth. We are we are to have dominion over every little every living thing here in the earth. And I just think about those times where I was afraid of dogs and frogs just like do something to me, but it's like, "No, Kiana, I gave you dominion over those things. They are creatures. They're not they're not going to do anything to you. Like stop stop allowing your fears to take you somewhere where you shouldn't be, you know? And I'm like, wow, Kiana, you was afraid of frogs and dogs when you were supposed to have power over them. Like, they can't do nothing to you. <laughs> so that was the word this morning. And I am so encouraged, so inspired by it. I'm full of it and I'm happy. I'm excited. And I just hope that you all have a great day. Um, I am inspired and encouraged to get great at what I'm good at. So instead of just being good at something, I want to be great. So I'm just in this season of studying my craft, utilizing what I have, not overthinking anything, putting the stuff out there and just letting it be what it is. You guys be great. You stay safe. Remember, you are created in the image of the most high God, the one that created the heavens and the earth. You are called to be fruitful and multiply, replenish the earth and subdue it, have dominion over every living thing in the earth. And not only that, but you are blessed. Why? Because you were created by the almighty creator. Have a good one.